What's up folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran. We're continuing our journey through the singles and b-sides and remixes and alternate mixes. Uh, we're up to a tune from the Big Thing album, uh, and the track we're going to listen to a remix of is I Don't Want Your Love, and we're going to listen to the big mix of I Don't Want Your Love. So I'm not sure if that specifically means, um, you know, sort of an extended, like, longer mix. I just checked, it is over seven minutes long, so I assume that's part of why it's called the Big Mix, but, um, you know, Big Mix could also be an indication of the sort of sonic power or size of the tune. It's a really grand sort of um, take on the track. Um, but yeah, bottom line, I enjoyed this album a great deal. It was interesting. It took me a little bit longer to get it than some others, so I had, like, heard more about it before beginning to react to it than some of the others that I reacted to. Um, but there were a couple people who had been waiting for a while and were very excited when um, the reactions to that album came. So uh, again, uh, it's just another, um, it's another installation in the larger and expansive catalog that I've come to appreciate and love. So uh, yeah, big ups to Duran. I assume um, by this point, um, this is a mix done by a remix artist, but unlike, you know, say the uh, Shep Pettibone remixes, it doesn't like say the name. Um, so I'm not quite sure who did this one, uh, but like I said, it's a bit uh, over seven minutes, so let's get straight to it. This is Duran Duran, I Don't Want Your Love, and it's the big mix. I like noise, cause I like waking up the house. house. Do you know? There's a tune by Nostrum, a hard trance artist, I like waking up the house. Samples that. I just realized that's, and that's not the only record in the techno trance world that samples that. Oh, the cowbell. Like digital cowbell.
Feels like it's doing a lot of things outside the regular tune, but it is still that also. I do love the, the back and forth, the rhythm of it. Some of the, the dance mixes, some of the extended mixes, or indeed the big mixes, um, some of them have felt like I enjoy what they do, but maybe they go on 40, 50 seconds longer than they need to. That one felt just right. That was like a, it did some things that the original tune doesn't do, but it still gave you the vibe of the original tune. Um, some of the sections where it was sort of like that, you know, rhythmic sort of uh, sampling and sort of cutting. Um, that felt like really sort of in the zone rather than sometimes it feels like, you know, maybe they didn't find the like perfect rhythm for the sort of like repeating of a vocal or whatever, but that one just felt like in a really good sweet spot. So I'm a big fan of that mix. Um, do let me know if you feel the same. Um, again, we're just going to keep moving through, uh, the folders. So yeah, we're up to essentially the, the big thing era of singles and B-sides. So if there's one from this period, um, that I should make sure like not to overlook, uh, do let me know. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the tune. Other than that, I will see you next time. Peace. Oh my god.